Hello everyone, my name is Michelangelo and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over the Cardo Freecom 2 Plus. I believe this is the 2 Plus. Uh, I don't quite remember. I know it's not the 1 Plus because I'm able to, to talk to my buddy on this one. But basically uh, the review of this, um, there's more to the, to the package. It comes with the mount and speakers and the headphones and all that stuff. But basically what I just want to talk about today is my experience for it. I've had it for about six months. It has been fantastic. The battery life is excellent, at least for me, because I make short 15 to 20 minute commuter trips and all I do is listen to music on them and they last forever. Uh, the radio is decent. Uh, it's not very strong, obviously, but if you also look at how tiny this is, uh, you can't expect it to be very strong because I'm pretty sure the antenna is in this unit. Uh, if it's not in this unit, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the speaker wire that goes over the top of the headphone. But even so, it's not a very strong antenna, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really bank on it. I would definitely just run Spotify or Google Play or whatever streaming app you you have on your phone. Uh, so overall, my experience with this has been very good. It has never died on me because it literally takes me over a month to kill this battery. I think the lowest I've ever gotten it is like 20%, and that's just because I left it on overnight and it didn't shut itself off which is kind of a con, but depending on how you see it will kind of determine how you feel about it. As you can see, it comes with four buttons. This uh, the center the center icon actually does blink when it's on or when it's charging or when it's fully charged or when it's connecting. Pretty much it's just your, your visual indicator that things are happening. It does have a magnet, not magnetic, but it does have a, a pressure connector for when it connects to the helmet and then a latch system in the front to actually keep it secure. Now, when it's actually on the helmet, as you can see, it's very thin, so there's not any major noticeable buffeting. Uh, if you've gone months, if not years, without having a Cardo, and then you put it on, you will notice, but it'll diminish within about a week or two, and you won't notice the buffeting anymore. And uh, But it definitely does not give you any form of neck strain or anything of that, nothing crazy like that. Uh, when it comes to connecting to uh, Senna's, it's actually fairly difficult. I'm not, I'm not, I don't quite remember how I managed to do it with my buddy, but we did manage to get them to connect. But the downside is that when I got them to connect, it used, it was used as one of my blue, one of the two Bluetooth spots that you get. And basically you can't listen to music while you're talking to them, but I personally don't know why you'd be listening to music while talking to them anyway. Uh, just because I'm usually distracted uh, when I listen to music and talking to someone that that's too much going on while I'm riding a motorcycle anyway. But basically, should you get one of these? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you're just a solo rider most of the time and you just want to listen to music and you want to be able to answer phone calls and things like of that nature, this is perfect. If you're just a solo rider, you don't want anyone to talk to you, you don't want any phone calls, and you just want a radio and music, I would get the Freecom 1 Plus. And then if you actually plan on doing group rides and all that stuff, I would definitely get anything higher than this one, the 3 Plus or the 4 Plus. Uh, just because they're superior products, for sure. They have way more features. It makes it way easier to connect to things. Um, but for me, in my use case, 99% of the time, I am by myself. So this is perfect. And then the 1% of the time I'm riding with my buddy, uh, because we have really differing schedules, this is this is fine. And the best part is that this is only like $150 or something. And they go on sale fairly often. And then you can always buy secondhand on eBay or whatever to kind of cheapen the price. But... If you've been on the fence about getting a Cardo, I would highly recommend it. It is definitely better than a Senna, in my opinion. Uh, the only benefit is that Senna has contracts with certain helmets like <clears throat> Shoei. And uh, you can get like integrated Senna kits. But then it forces you to usually buy the top line Senna, which is about $500. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, if, if that's something you want to do, go for it. If you have the money, go for it. I did not at the time when I bought this Cardo. And honestly, if you just look online, Cardo is the superior company, at least right now in 2019. It might change in 2020 or 2020, 2021. But until then, definitely get a Cardo. Uh, I would definitely, unless you know for a fact, you will never, ever uh, be with anyone else, right? Uh, get the one plus, And then if you do plan on being with someone else, even for a small amount of time, get the two plus. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will see y'all in the next one. Hey guys, one final note uh, about the Cardo, which obviously is not in my hands anymore, is that if you live in a really hot climate, uh, make sure you watch the mount because the hot weather will 
not melt, but will undo the adhesive that is on the helmet. So for me, where I live in El Paso, it's 110 degrees uh, and some days, but most days in the summer, it's about 95 to 100. Uh, and if you don't pay attention uh, over, if, especially if you're a daily rider like myself, the the adhesive will slowly start to peel off. So make sure you just keep aware of that. Uh, the best way to fix this is either to remove that adhesive and put on a stronger adhesive like the uh, like car fender adhesive. Uh, I don't know what that's actually called, but that works pretty well. And just because obviously if the, the mount goes, so does your cardo and the, the connection point from your speakers to the cardo is not strong enough to resist 70 mile an hour uh, speeds. So before you lose your cardo and I still have my cardo in case you guys were wondering, uh, just does just one little side note that I forgot to mention. So just keep that in mind and ride safe. See you in the next one.